can you pour forward your Minecraft server? Well, first things first, we want to go ahead and open up Command Prompt. To do that, hit the Start icon and type in CMD. This will have the Command Prompt here. Open this up and then in Command Prompt, type IP, C-O-N-F-I-G. IP config, exactly like that. Hit enter and this will provide you a bunch of information that you need to port forward. Now before we get this information, I do want to mention you don't have to port forward your Minecraft server if you're using our hosting provider Simple Game Hosting. At the first link in the description down below, you can purchase a Minecraft server where you and your friends will get an IP address and you can just join the server. It's that easy to start playing Minecraft at Simple Game Hosting without port forwarding, without any issues and there's even things like one click mod pack installation which make it easy to even start playing modded Minecraft with your friends. There's expert live chat support as well, so check out Simple Game Hosting. Again, first link down below. The breakdown.xyz says SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way without any port forwarding. But if you are self hosting a server, once you're in CMD here, all you want to do is open up Notepad and you want to make a note of a few of these basically numbers that are here. One of which is the IPv4 address. So in my case, that's 192.168.1.55. Then we also want to make note of the default gateway, which in my case is 192.168.1.1, but yours could be completely different for both of these numbers, your IPv4 address and default gateway. Go ahead and copy your default gateway, open up your browser, and make a brand new tab. Then up here at the top, you normally tap simplegamehosting.com or youtube.com, paste in your default gateway. Then hit enter and a login box will appear. Now, in this login box, you wanna enter in your router's username and password. This is usually located on the router itself, but it may also be something that was set up when your router was set up. So if the person who set up your internet's around, maybe go ask them. And there is a quick link in the description that goes through a few other methods that you can use to actually get your router username and password and log in. Once you've logged in, your router is probably going to look completely different from mine, but that's okay. The process is very similar on most routers. What we're looking for here is port forwarding. This is where you're going to be able to actually forward the port and allow your friends to join your Minecraft server after it's finished. So for me, that's going to be an advanced. It's going to be an advanced again, and then it's going to be in port forwarding slash port triggering. Now for you, it may be in apps in gaming. It may be in NAT forwarding, NAT forwarding. It could be in a firewall tab, or it could be in a security tab. It could also be like it is for me in an advanced or in an administration tab. Once you've found port forwarding, go ahead and add a new port forward. And then what you want to enter in, in your port forward is going to be the same for everyone. For your service name, you want to go ahead and enter in Minecraft because this is for Minecraft. For the protocol, we want to do TCP slash UDP or both. It might literally be the word both. Then for the external port, we're going to do 25565. And then for the internal port, we're going to do 25565. Anywhere that you see the word port, you want to enter in 25565. Then for your internal IP address, this is going to be your IPv4 address that we got earlier, which in my case was 192.168.1.55. However, you may not have this as a way to enter in your IP. It might just be a list of devices. If that's the case, go ahead and select the device that you're making the Minecraft server on, most likely your computer. Go ahead and apply, save, create the port forward, whatever you need to do. And now all we've got to do is get the IP address that our friends can use to join the server. And that's going to be your public IP. It's linked down in the description down below. And you can see the information that can be gotten from your IP address. That's why this is only meant for your friends and family. If you want a public server, you're going to need to use Simple Game Hosting or another Minecraft hosting provider. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and click on click to copy here. It will copy your IP and we can now go ahead and use that to join our server. Our server does need to get started though, so I'm also going to start my server up here, and then I will show you how to join it once we are in game. So here we are in game, we can go ahead and click on multiplayer of course, and then we'll want to go ahead and add a server. Now you can name this anything, I'm just going to name this the port forward server. And then for the server address, it's going to be that public IP we got earlier. This is also what your friends will be able to join. Now, both on the website earlier and now, you can only see .22 at the end. That's just because you don't want to give this out to anybody and everybody. You only want to give it to people that you invite over to your house that you trust. And you don't want to give it out publicly on the internet. Now we go ahead and click done and the server will resolve. In some cases, you might not be able to join using your public IP. That's okay. You can join using the IP address localhost, all one word. Your friends are the only ones that need to join using the public IP. We can see here if I double click, I join right on in. Nick's game's on the left hand side there. Now, 
Usually, if your friends can't join after you have port forwarded, it is because of Windows Defender. And we have an in-depth, complete guide on that. In three minutes, we will show you how to allow people through your Windows Defender firewall and thus allow people onto your server once it is set up and running. But at this point, your port forward is complete and you now know how to port forward for a Minecraft server. We will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'm out. Peace.